Welcome back everybody to Rome Total War and we are currently besieging the Germanic capital and we can actually attack it which we are going to do just going to look at everything else we have again that large army is walking around so I don't know what it's going to do um, yeah so we're going to see how this battle goes but as you can see our spy has open the gate which is excellent and so we won't need to use the rams so let's go ahead all right 20 to 9 I'm actually going to fight this battle so I'll see you on the battle map right we're here on the battle map now I've set up the army I've made quite a lot of groups I've split my infantry into four groups so obviously it'll go in one by one the first group that will go in are our mercenary units because I can't really retrain them so I don't mind if they die Second lot are our swordsmen. Third lot are the main section, which is just a uh, war band. And then the last lot are our chosen swordsmen, which should deliver the final blow, hopefully. And I've got my slingers in a group, and then cavalry, and then my general on his own. So we're going to see how this pans out. I'm just going to select my missile units, because I may be able to use them. Oh god, no, no stop my general as well that was a bit silly yeah what I want to try and do is get some free hits on their general okay we can fire not their general I mean their units all right let's see if this hits any of them I killed one Right, as long as they don't... Oh, they're running away. I don't think we can fire over this wall, so that's probably the end of that. Don't wait here, guys. We're going to head in our first group. And attack these maximum. Okay. I'm hoping this will be an easy battle. We have got almost double the men they have but then they've got a lot of heavy infantry well I've got some heavy infantry as well so we'll soon find out ok we've captured that now we're going to fight these axemen try and surround them. Actually I don't think we'll be able to do that. Hopefully we'll be able to kill some of them. Again I don't really mind losing these mercenary units. They're not as important as my uh, swordsmen say and my chosen swordsmen. So if they can get some kills and that's good. Just want to make sure that they're not getting surrounded. Because they did have men over this end. Oh they're just guarding that gate. I'm not going to use that though. But as you can see this is a big settlement, obviously it's their capital. But it's still quite big for a barbarian city. Okay, how many's left? Okay, let's fast forward a bit. Okay, they routed. Which is excellent news. That's one of their units gone. And already 8% of their army destroyed only lost mercenary units. That's excellent. So we're going to run up here and then I'm going to get my unit 2 in and see if I can... Okay, I can put them there. Excellent. But really they'll slowly, slowly move. When we chase down these Russian units, oh, we're going to have another some night raiders. Oh they look pretty cool. See they've got war paint on them. Must attack them now. This is probably one of the biggest, most important battles we've fought so far. And 
and our mercenary units, although we're losing them, we are doing pretty good at the moment, I think. And our second group is slowly marching in. No need to tire them out by running. I actually, I'm actually going to bring my general to the, to the gate, so if any of these mercenary units riot to get to the gate, I can use my rally troops and hopefully some of them will come back. Can't guarantee that will happen, but um, could. Yeah, let's pass forward again. And we've got some uh, uh, spear war band coming along, so that could be a problem. And they're routing now right into us. Okay, fight these spearmen now, guys. I don't know what. Oh, these spearmen have gone out of phalanx. Excellent. I think that'd be easier to fight now. Although some of them have, look, only like a few men over here have got them running off. But this is turning out quite good. I'd rather kill them here than kill them up there because they don't write route if you've got them in the square. So kill as many as we can down here. And they should route soon. Okay, yep, it's routed. And we've got another unit coming of Spear Warband. And um, already 26% of their army destroyed. Only 13% uh, of ours. And our unit 2 has come in, so we're going to march them forward a little bit. And our unit 3, which is the big one, is going to start marching in as well. Okay. But it's good to keep getting a rhythm, you know. Okay, these guys have gone round this way. That's alright. We can if we can get you round and attack the side, it might actually be an advantage. Come on guys. Are they going to bring any more data troops down? It seems only a small group. Okay, how many men are left in here? Nine. Okay, that's another mass amount of their units destroyed, which is excellent. This seems like a good tactic actually, I wasn't sure if it'd work. Um, apparently it's working quite well. I thought my missile, my mercenary units would get destroyed pretty quickly. And they did have heavy infantry, where my missile units, I mean, my um, mercenary units are only light infantry. But yeah. So at the moment it's been quite successful, but that could all change. And they're going to fight much harder up here. Although they don't have many men left, they have some screeching women and some more spear war band. But no general in their army, just a captain, which I guess helps. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! I see what they're doing. They brought some men around the side here. We're going to face them off. <laughs> My men are exhausted, but I don't care. Oh, they're running away now. Go this way, guys. Let's try and get rid of this unit. Okay, yeah, they're charging in. Try and get a unit around the side here. Come on. Yeah, I thought this would happen eventually. Okay, time to get our 
second unit. Oh dear. Okay, they're being a bit clever here. So I may lose all my mercenary units. So we're gonna start walking forward here. So our first unit has been destroyed, basically, as I thought would happen. So it's up to our second group now. That's just the main disadvantage by using this system. But I think there are more advantages, we don't lose so many men in one go. Okay, they want to go around this way, that's alright. Wait a minute, actually. No, no, let's just go around this way. Oh no, can they not decide which way to go, idiots? We'll go around this way then. Where's our unit 3 is coming up? Okay, why is unit 3 running? Walk. Oh, I've got a great idea. Unit 2 can go here. Unit 3 can go here. Okay. Time to fight Unit 2. Okay, yeah, we seem to have the upper hand again. And um, two of our missile unit groups have returned. Which is excellent. We'll fight this small night raider unit. Okay, these pikemen want to fight. So we'll fight. And this unit is routed, which is excellent. So that actually gives us a chance to go around the back of these guys. And finish them off. So come around the back here guys. We're gonna make these guys route. Yeah, I thought that would happen. That's another 90 odd German soldiers dead. Yeah, we've killed over half their army now. We've only lost 20% of our forces. Okay, you guys come back, you're just depleted. Yeah, this is where it gets a bit harder, you see. Right, let's get unit 2 up, and unit 3 can wait back wherever I can put them. Here. Okay, who are these? Oh, these are some missile units. If they want a bit of fun, we'll send our barbarian mercenaries forward. Okay, charge guys. Fast forward again. Okay, they're routing. And they're going to use the rest of these barbarian units to take out the heat men over there. While we prepare for the final push on their stronghold here in the centre. Okay, they're sending a few more men first, so we're going to wait. Yeah. Like you can see. Okay, god they're so exhausted they can't really run anymore. Oh they're routing, oh and they're routing into us, excellent, excellent. Kill them. Oh, these guys are just routing and see the army go, no we're not going to fight them. our men there. <laughs> yeah, fail. Okay, charge into them guys. Yeah, I'm going to bring up my unit to, to here. Let's make our new group one again, I think. Oh, we can catch this one guy off. Kill him. But don't let him do that. I knew that. I thought that, that would happen. Just let him go through. Ok, 
Cage and Heavy Axeman coming along, and some more of the war band. It's alright though. Oh dear, that's a lot of men coming. Okay, unit two, come forward. Oh yeah, that's our unit rounded. It's alright though, they've done their job well, they've killed lots of men. So unit three can start marching forward a little bit as well. You guys, in you go. Right, our unit four now. Our chosen swordsmen are going to start forming inside. Okay, group two. Okay, this is going quite well, I believe. Just got to try and kill their general now. Yeah, I think we're killing them. Although there's quite a lot of men left in the unit. Let's get unit group three up. Up the hill. Oh god, yeah, we're killing them earlier. The warlord of the enemy oh, army is running like a startled goat. Hunt him. Yeah. Goats make good eating. That was good. Okay, their uh, missile units are running forward again. Okay. This looks like a done deal, to be honest. Yeah. Let's like get group three up a bit further. We probably will need them. I'm not sure if this unit two can take everyone out. Oh, they're, they're screeching women, so I haven't got involved yet. Oh, now they have. Okay, we are losing a lot of these men, but obviously I can retrain, re-recruit. I don't mind. As group three is about to get involved. Okay, group three, in you go. Oh, it's just their captain left. God, their screeching women are going off. Okay, and group four comes to here. What the hell? They're letting me take. See that massive shield. Come on, kill their captain. There you go. The enemy warlord is dead, slain by your brave warriors. We are gonna have to kill this last unit because they're gonna retake the um The enemy army runs now. Oh, then did now. Win the battle. Victory is the reward of warriors! <laughs> Great victories like this go only to the best. So yeah, good victory, for, good victory for us. I know we lost a lot of men, but that's because of the tactic I employed, which was actually a good tactic because it, in waves you're quite effective. So I'll see you on the campaign map. Right, um, we've captured their capital now, and it's got blue face. So I'm actually going to exterminate the populace. Great, they're happy now. Oh, no, I can retrain most of the army. <laughs> I've lost a lot of men. I've lost almost my entire contingent of um, swordsmen. I'm just going to sort out these guys so I don't need to retrain everyone. Um, I think that's all I can actually do. Yeah, Must be a retraining for some armour upgrades and stuff. But that is good result for us. Uh, I am considering whether to continue pushing against the Ger Germans. Obviously, I want to take this city and then probably this city, but I'm not sure whether I want to continue any further east for now. So I might recruit a diplomat and ask for a peace settlement. But I don't know if they'll accept it or not. But if they do, then I can concentrate on Iberia, which I want to control Iberia basically.
take the Gallic city there and maybe declare war on Spain. Right. And of course this army is just... God, if they attack... Um, I don't know what we're going to do. Right, well, how's our agents doing? Spy there, spy there, spy there. And our diplomat all the way in the east. He's 44, so I don't know how much longer he will live for. But yeah, so let's end the turn and see what happens. Oh dear, as I expected, they have sieged. Oh dear. Right. Right, come on. Right, firstly what I'm going to do is get my spy and bring it up, up here because that's going to be my next target. I wonder what their capital is now. Oh, this is their capital. Not their proper city anymore because I control it. Okay. I'm going to build some more swordsmen. And I'm going to have to sort out that army of Germany. I think what I might do is divert this army. I can't reach them. Damn. Divert this army and attack them from behind. Because once that army's gone, they have very little, unless they have another army hidden somewhere. But from what I can see, they don't. So let's go there. Unable to move. Um, we'll take some men from here as well. So we got that, and again the garrison against this. We may lose, but we'll certainly do some damage to their army, which is what we need to do. Okay, construction. Um, yes, we can always construct. Oh, world warriors, they look cool. And these guys, head hurlers. <laughs> Which sounds funny. Hurling heads. Right, I'm just looking here. We have quite a good reserve of cash now, 16,000, compared to what we used to have. I think we only had a few thousand to spend, and we'd always run out. We'd never be able to build everything we want to. So this settlement will have to be on hold for a minute while we deal with this army. And we are still retraining or re recruiting more units for the attack on that place. Bordis Holm? I don't know how you say that. Okay, are these Egyptians? Yes. Are the Parthians still alive? Yes. Okay, the Parthians are still alive. Excellent. We can talk to them. Um, I only have... I have three spies. Where's that other one? Oh, he's in there. Keep forgetting. He's going to stay in there for a while. Um, end the turn, I guess. Okay, Gallic Navy besieged my port. Blockaded it. Oh, there's another Germanic army, a smaller one though, here. Um, my feeling is they it will either come up and attack this city or help their friends down here. So I'm going to attack before that can happen. Okay, another city grows. That's right, they're still building. Okay, right. What sort of army do they have over here? Mm, they have a decent sized garrison. 75% chance. Ooh, let's find out. Oh, I died. That's quite unlucky actually, 75% chance and he died. We know roughly what sort of size army they have. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this unit, it's only 17 men. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait a little bit. Actually, first let's recruit another spy. Two, two more swordsmen, and then... Hmm, what else? Another warband. That'll be three. And two more units. Another chosen swordsman and another slinger. And that'll be a full army. 
We'll have to leave a few men in there for garrisons. Okay. Actually, I'm going to recruit another unit for here. Another slinger. And here, another war hand unit. Okay. Ooh. So it looks like the Germans don't want to end the fighting, they want to keep fighting. Which is fair enough, we shall keep fighting them if that's what they want. Oh cool, look, these guys got gold swords, which means I think that's the quality of their weapons is really good. Excellent. I wish all my units were like that. Okay. Just gonna quickly save, as I usually do. And this will start the battle, but we won't fight it in this episode. So it's 2 to 1, so we are apparently going to win this, but you never know. Okay, what's that? Allow this army to come. I want to control it, let's see what happens. Not the. Really, what happens usually? Ah, oh, a lot of their armies mercenary units. So that may help us, but who knows. So this will be what happens next time we'll finally face that large army. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you 